Welcome to this uh, episode of Franco 7, the show where we ask a special guest seven questions. Our guest today is Jessica Concanon, the Westmount fashionista. So welcome, Jessica. Thank you. So you ready for the seven questions? Absolutely. Question one, where did you grow up? I grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So I'm originally from the States, but I moved up here to be with my now husband. All right, question two. We have viewers throughout Canada. How would you describe Westmount so that they can understand it? Hmm. I'd say it's a little touch of Real Housewives-ish. My favorite Westmount story, and I think this perfectly encapsulates the uh, areas. I was at the gym the other day, and I'm on my treadmill, I'm working out, I'm sweating. I'm like, actually at the gym. And this perfect Westmount lady comes in. She has her Birkin bag. Her hair is perfectly blown out. She has a full face of makeup in her perfect Lululemon outfit. She gets on the treadmill next to me, and on the treadmill next to her, she places her handbag. She works out for five minutes, playing on her phone, picks the bag back up, and leaves for the day. So to me, that that's Westbound. Nicely put. <laughs> Question three. If you can relive again mm -hmm. one day of your life, which day would it be? That's a good one. You can't change the days, just to relive it. I'd say my first New York City Fashion Week. Wow. That was a really incredible experience. I got to see the Nicole Miller show. I saw Zheng Tao as well. And I was a little bit on the younger side. I was 21, 22 years old. And I don't think I fully appreciated what was going on around me. So now that I am in the industry and I really understand the importance of it and what goes in really to producing something like that, I'd love to go back and you know relive it and appreciate it a little bit more for what it really was. Great. Next question. Uh, the Golden Globes mm -hmm. will launch the awards season shortly on January 12th. Look into your crystal ball and tell me whose outfit will we be discussing on January 13th? Okay, let's see. I think Anne Hathaway always is absolutely incredible and her relationship with a lot of the really big designers always ensures a really standout outfit for her. So All I right. think she's definitely going to be one of the big ones. So we'll look out for Anne Hathaway. Personal favorite too. Uh, question five. Hot spring trend 2014. Pick one. One. I think the crop top still is going to be going pretty strong. And, you know, it's fun. You can play with it. You know, you can show a little bit more skin. You can wear a high-waisted skirt and cover up with just that tiny little hint of the midriff. And something I'm finally going to think I'm going to embrace this spring, too. The crop top. Okay. Question six. It's been the year of the diva, Brittany, Miley, Beyonce, Gaga. Uh, whom will history remember as having owned a 2013? I think it's the year of Miley Cyrus. I have to give her credit. The crazy is totally working for her. She's you don't think owning. Beyonce stole it at the last? You know, with a new album release, I think she's taking it away from Miley. I think Miley will be remembered for the crazy, but I think Beyonce, like you said, that's a true diva right there. So there's a little bit more elegance to that one. Last question. What is the most beautiful place on earth? That's another hard one. Good questions, though. Um, I'm partial to Paris. It's been a favorite of mine for the longest time. And I don't know, standing on the Pont Neuf and looking out over the city with the sun going down on you with a nice bottle of wine, that's yeah, a personal pretty favorite. pretty extraordinary. Yeah. Well, that's it. Well, thank you so much for participating on this uh, show. Thank you so thank much you. for having me. So long.